Hey people, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Hockey on the Spot with Brandon Barenfeld. I'm Brandon Barenfeld. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 47 of Hockey on the Spot. And today, more preseason scores. But first, just a couple updates real quick. The Winnipeg Jets have offered general manager Kevin Chevelle Day off a contract extension. So good job for him. And he definitely is basically the heart of their team right there. Um, and the guy keeping them in Winnipeg. So... And the guy who even got them to Winnipeg or was part of it. So, good move for them. And then, of course, um, the Florida Panthers that within the next few weeks will be annou will announce a new buyer um, and will be sold. Um, however, they are not going to be moved when sold. So, that means they could be moved in the future. But let's hope that does not happen because, personally, I love the Florida Panthers. I love their uniforms. I love their logo. I love everything about them. So... <laughs> um, hope they stick around for a while. And then something I didn't get to talk about yesterday, just a few uh, entry-level deals to a few players, Samuel Moran, Chris Bigras, um, uh, Joel Berman, a couple other guys too. So And then Curtis Lazar, another one. And then, of course, um, the Edmonton Oilers is going to begin contract talks with Ryan Nugent Hopkins as he is in his contract year. So, Hopefully something gets done. Um, that would be great. Um, anyway, with all that being said, let's now get into our preseason scores. Nine games uh, yesterday. A couple of them we will not have assists for because a couple of them were not at the original arenas. So with that being said, we'll start with the C Buffalo Sabres at the Columbus Blue Jackets. For the Columbus Blue Jackets, this was one of two split squad games for them. This one against the Buffalo Sabres. They had another one which we'll talk about after a couple after three other games where they had on the road against the Minnesota Wild. This one was at home. They lost this one 3 to 1 to the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, big night for Marcus Felino. He had two goals. The first one assisted by Tyler Myers and Cody Hodgson. The second one unassisted. The second one a highlight reel, the Bobby Orr soar. Um, as many people call it. <clears throat> so great job for him. And then in the third period, M Mikhail Grigorenko, who had the shootout winner against Montreal, got a goal assisted by Corey Tropp and Zemgis Gergensens. Um, Ryan Miller played the majority of the game, and he only let up one goal, 15 saves on 16 shots and 938 save percentage. And then Matt Hackett played for a little while, too. He made nine saves on nine shots. So good job for him. And for the Columbus Blue Jackets, for the Columbus Blue Jackets, only one guy scoring for them. Uh, R.J. Umberger, assisted by Tim Erickson and Josh Anderson. Um, so that was their only goal, and they got the split in net. Uh, Sergei, Sergei Bobrovsky played the majority of the game. He made 13 saves on 15 shots and 8.67 save percentage. So he played well, but didn't get the win. And then the other guy, Mike McKenna, who was back, who was trying to get back into the NHL, last played for the New Jersey Devils, um, made 12 saves on 13 shots and 9.23 save percentage. Um, so he faced a lot, it, just playing a shade over 18 minutes. So. Um, the goaltending was good for Columbus, but it wasn't enough. They end up getting the loss in that game. So, um, anyway, uh, moving on to the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers. New York Rangers played last night against the New Jersey Devils and lost 2-1. to Tonight, they get their redemption in Philadelphia. They win by a final score of 3-2 to um, after a scoreless first period. Everyone just started scoring. The Rangers never let up a lead. And the scoring started with Derek Broussard, assisted by Matt Zuccarello and Anton Strawman, followed by Daryl Powell, assisted by Andrew Yogan and Connor Allen. And then the game winner scored by Benoit Pouliot, assisted by Derek Broussard, and Dylan McElrath, who did not have a good game last night. I watched that game. He turned over both uh, eventual Philadelphia Flyer goals. Um, he turned over the puck twice and both led to the Flyer goals. That assist got some re him some redemption, but um, you could expect that he m might possibly get sent down at some point and that he may not be ready to play. But the goaltenders were brilliant. 
Marty Biron, he didn't have to face much. He played the majority of the game, and he didn't even face much. He only faced, uh, <laughs> he only faced six shots, but he made six saves. Um, the guy giving up both goals, but still played pretty solid. Cam Talbot, he made ten saves on twelve shots and eight thirty-three save percentage. So, um, overall, it was a solid night for the goaltending. And for the Philadelphia Flyers, both of their goal-scoring contributions, again, came from Dylan Meckelrath turnovers, but the goals were scored by Maxime Talbot, assisted by Hal Gill, and the former Ranger Chris Newberry. Um, Maxime Talbot scoring on Cam Talbot, no relation. And then Sean Couturier, assisted by Jakub Boracek. Um, and the goaltending, Steve Mason, Played the entire game, making 20 saves on 23 shots and 870 save percentage. Jan Danny was his backup, but he did not play. So, um, uh, so not that Steve Mason played bad. I thought he played well, but just he could not get the win. It was one of those situations. So, congrats to the New York Rangers. New York Rangers now get five days off before playing their next preseason game in Calgary against the Flames. Um, they will be going on the, a long road trip in which they will be playing late night games, eight straight. That includes the regular season. Um, so they're, they're going to have a tough test ahead of them. Next. <laughs> Next, the Washington Capitals and the Boston Bruins. We will not have assists for this game or all of the shootout goals. This game was played at the Baltimore Arena. Washington was considered the home team. <laughs> um, they end up winning the game by a final score of 3-2 in a shootout. Uh, the Washington goal scorers, Tom Wilson and Casey Wellman, with Braden Holtby and Philip Grubauer splitting time in net. And then for Boston, th um, they after they were down 2-0, uh, Justin Florick and Chris Kelly end up scoring to tie the game with Tuka Rask and Nicholas Svedberg splitting time. And then for the Boston Bruins, actually, I think, I, did I just say the Washington Capitals won? I meant the Boston Bruins actually won. They won 3-2 to two in a shootout. Carter Camper scored the shootout winner. Um, again, there were, there were two, four other shootout goals, two by the Bruins, two by the Caps, but we will not have them because they are not posted. So... Um, that's too bad, unfortunately. Next, Detroit Red Wings at Chicago Blackhawks. A 2-0 victory for the Chicago Blackhawks. So the first shutout of the preseason goes to the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Chicago Blackhawks, as they make their preseason debut tonight. Uh, last night, I should say. Um, and they get their scoring contributions from Patrick Sharp, assisted by Jeremy Morin and Brent Seabrook. And then Ben Smith, assisted by Jimmy Hayes and Marcus Kruger. Lots of roster spots available for Chicago Blackhawk uh, forwards. And Corey Crawford played the entire game, making 19 saves on 19 shots. So a 19 saves shutout for him. Again, a shutout means no goals for the other team, which means no goals for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, they got a split in net. Um, <laughs> Jonas Gustafsson played most of the game, making 21 saves on 23 shots, a 9.13 save percentage. Um, be, before Jared Corot, uh took over in the third period and made 11 saves on 11 shots. Uh, so he actually played well, but again, it was just a dominant night overall for the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, so congrats to the defending Stanley Cup champions. They look for a repeat. <laughs> Next, we now have the second of the Columbus Blue Jackets split squad game on the road against the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> a much better performance from their um, brothers at, than their brothers at home. Um, they end up where the their brothers at home lost lost to the Buffalo Sabers three to one. They defeated the Minnesota Wild three to one. Um, goals coming from Ryan Johansson, assisted by Michael Chapeau and Cam Atkinson. Then Cam Atkinson would score a goal, assisted by Ryan Johansson and Ryan Murray. And then Mark Letestu would cap it off, assisted by Co Cody Golubiff and Blake Como. Um, and the goaltending was good as well. Jeremy Smith played the entire game, making uh, 21 saves um, 
on 22 shots and a 952 save percentage. So good night for him. And as for the Minnesota Wild, their lone goal coming from Nino Niederreiter on the power play, assisted by Charlie Coyle and Michael Granlin. They got a split. They got a split in net. Um, <laughs> Nicholas Backstrom played the majority of the game. He made 10 saves on 13 shots, a 7.00 save percentage. And then Darcy Kemper would play some of the game, making seven saves on seven shots. So he made every stop available. So good. So, but a good night for the B squad of the Columbus Blue Jackets. <laughs> Next, we have the Edmonton Oilers and the Winnipeg Jets. In Winnipeg, um, big win for the Winnipeg Jets. Their first of the preseason, three to two. Um, they get their scoring contributions from Michael Frolick on the power play, assisted by Eric Tangredi and Jacob Truba. The second goal for the Winnipeg Jets came from um, the second Winnipeg goal scored by Carl Klingberg. Assisted by Eric Tangrady and Eric O'Dell. Eric O'Dell, a former top prospect, really has fallen out, unfortunately, it seems. But anyway, third goal scored by Anthony Peluso. Assisted by Jim Slater and Ivan Teleg Telegin, a, a top prospect Russian. So that was all the Winnipeg scoring. And then uh, Andre Pavlik playing the entire game, making 22 saves on 24 shots and 917 save percentage. So great night for Winnipeg. Edmonton pushed for a comeback, however. Mitchell Moroz, Moroz assisted by Philip Larson and Ryan Martindale. That would make it 3-1. And then their second goal coming from Philip Larson, assisted by Nail Yakupov and Linus Olmark. And they, too, had a guy playing the entire game. Uh, Richard Bachman, former Dallas Star goaltender, would play the entire game. Jason LaBarbera would sit, making 26 saves on 29 shots. An 897 save percentage. So the first game this preseason in which both teams had a goaltender playing the entire game. But a great night for the Winnipeg Jets overall. Next, a split squad game between split squad between the Calgary Flames and the New York Islanders. The New York Islanders making their preseason debut with split squad. They got a lot of split squad games coming this preseason. In fact, they may have been the team that really came up with the idea. Um, but Unfortunately for the New York Islanders, their first split squad did not go so well. They were swept both games by the Calgary Flames. The first one in Calgary, 5-3 uh, to three was the final score. Um, Flames getting contributions from Lance Boma, assisted by Roman Horak and Chad Billins. Um, that, yep, um... The second Calgary goal scored by Dennis Weidman, assisted by TJ Galliardi and Lee Stemtniak. Then Dennis Weidman would score a second time on the power play, assisted by Lee Stemtniak and Curtis Glencross. Then a second power play goal by the Calgary Flames, scored by TJ Galliardi, their, their acquisition from the San Jose Sharks, assisted by Curtis Glencross. And then an empty net goal for the Calgary Flames from Curtis Glencross, assisted by Mark Giordano and Chris Russell. Um, and their goaltending was very good. Um, Joey McDonald played the entire game, making 18 saves on 21 shots and 8.57 save percentage. So good night for him. And as for the New York Islanders, they had the opening goal of the game. Uh, Michael Grabner would score the opening goal. Assisted by Chris Bruton. Um, then Griffin Reinhardt would score. Assisted by Cal Clutterbuck. And finally, their third goal coming from Riley Wetmore. Assisted by Matt Donovan. And uh, John Pearson, or Pearson, however you say it. Someone from Sweden. A kid from Sweden. And they had a bit of a split in goal. Um, Anders... Anders Nilsson made 11 saves on 13 shots and 846 save percentage. And Kevin Poulin, who played a shade, just a shade more than Nilsson, made 14 saves on 16 shots and 875 save percentage. So not so for the individual goaltenders, an okay performance, but for them as a whole, not so good. So big win by the Calgary Flames, and it didn't get any better for the New York Islanders for Squad B. 
That game was in Regina, Saskatchewan, so we will not have the assists or the goalie statistics for that game, but a 4-2 win for the Calgary Flames. Goals coming from Sean Donovan, um, Matt Stajan, Michael Backlund, and then Sean Donovan again. He had a big night. Um, Kari Ramo played the entire game and obviously had a good night. And for the New York Islanders, John Tavares and Matt Molson would do their goal scoring. They get a split and goal between Evgeny Nabokov and a kid by the name of Ken Reeder. So um, congrats to the Calgary Flames on their split squad sweep. And then last but not least, the, Ana the Los Angeles Kings and the Anaheim Ducks. The, um, the two arch rivals from California. Um, and after, after the Anaheim Ducks gave a serious spanking to the Phoenix Coyotes last night, it was them who got spanked. I mean, or two nights ago, it was them who got spanked last night. Six to nothing in favor of the Los Angeles Kings. So the second shutout of the preseason. All goals scored by the Kings. The first, first was by Matt Fratton on the power play, assisted by Drew Doughty. He would have a big night, Matt Fratton. Um, so um, congratulations for to him. Uh, the second goal scored by youngster by the name of Scott Sabarin, assisted by Jeff Schultz, their signing from the Washington Capitals, and Lyndon Vey. Then Drew Doughty, assisted by Jake Muzzin and Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter had a very big night. Um, I, because after his assist, he would get two goals in the third. First one, assisted by Tanner Pearson. And then the second one, assisted by Matt Fratton and Mike Richards. And then to cap it all off, Andre Kopitar from Matt Fratton and Drew Doughty. And the goaltending was brilliant. Jonathan Quick. And Matthew Garon would split the time in net. Um, Matthew Garon making 11 saves on 11 shots. And Jonathan Quick making 12 saves on 12 shots. So shutouts for both of them. So, and again, not a good night for the Anaheim Ducks. Um, um, Victor Faust made 23 saves on 26 shots. He was bombarded with shots and 885 save percentage. And then John Gibson came in in the third period. And did not look like the John Gibson that we saw at the World Junior Championships last year. He only faced eight shots, and he only made five saves. A 625 save percentage. So, now, you, Anaheim Ducks fans, you got to wonder, is was that John Gibson from the World Juniors a, the real deal, or was that just a fluke? Um, or is this the real deal? Um, or is this a fluke, or is this the real deal? Also, Brad Staubitz and Kyle Clifford both getting 10-minute pen misconduct penalties in the third period at 10:25. So um, again, it was not a good night though for the Anaheim Ducks. Cam Fowler had a double minor for high sticking. Sammy Vatanen uh, gave Kyle Clifford a penalty shot, which he did not score on. But still, it was just not a good night for the Anaheim Ducks after having such a great night last night against Phoenix. Um, they will play, or, or two nights ago, I should say. Um, they will play again tonight for their third straight game on the road against the Colorado Avalanche. So be sure to tune in for that. Okay, guys, that'll do it for episode 47 of Hockey on the Spot. Um, tomorrow we'll go over more preseason scores. Oh, so until then, this has been Hockey on the Spot with Brandon Barenfeld. I'm Brandon Barenfeld. See you guys again tomorrow. Thank you and have a great day.